I want to go back to 2010. Um, do you recall where you were interviewed by the Gwinnett County Police Department in regard to an issue with Imani? Yes. Tell the jury how that, how you found out about that and how that happened. Um, I was at work and um, I get a phone call from, a, I think, a detective. I can't remember the name, but I know I had a phone call from a detective saying I had to come to the police station. They didn't tell me what. They just said I need, need an emergency. I think it pertained, they said it pertained to your child. So I just left work, let my manager know, and I just hopped in the car and just drove all the way down there. Right. While you were at the police department, did you find out that your wife had been accused of, of beating your child? Yes, when I got down there. Right. And did you give a statement to the police in that regard? Uh, yes, I spoke with the uh, detective. And did you become aware that she was eventually arrested? Yes, she got arrested there. And do you know whatever happened with that case? Um, she took a plea of probation, five years to my knowledge. Tell me what life was like after that at your house. <laughs> it was rough. Um, was Tiffany allowed to work as a teacher after that? No. Did Tiffany ever work after 2010? No. Um, so, it sh it sh what did she do? Stayed at the house. Stayed at Hurley's house? Yeah. It, it, wherever we were living, she stayed at the house. Right. Did you feel like her, her job at that point was to take care of the kids? Yes. Um, at, during the time you were at Pearlie's house, did you ever see any issues with Amani in terms of her weight or? No. Um, did you ever see any problems between Amani and Tiffany while you were at Pearlie's? Yes. Tell me about those. Um, ever since uh, going back to 2010, ever since then, it was like a, like a love-hate relationship. Tell me, what, explain to the jury what you mean by a love-hate relationship. Um, you know, her and Monty was like, um, it was always something they couldn't get along. Did you ever know of Tiffany from 2010, after 2010, to discipline Amani? No, not to the incident. All right. I, I want to ask you, when, when I say discipline, Okay. What a discipline a child, what does that mean to you? At that time, uh, spanking. But are there other ways to discipline children? Yes. Uh, is sending to bed without their supper a way of disciplining a child? No, it's not. Um, is putting them in a corner and putting them in time out a discipline for a child? Yes. So you said that when you said that that you said that Tiffany didn't, didn't discipline Amani. Are you aware of whether or not she used any of the other things other than a spanking to correct her behavior? Yes, she's, um, after we, well, let me go back. When we had the incident where she spanked Imani in 2010, we had to take a class, I took a, it called the fatherhood program. And I think she had to take anger management, and then we had in-home counseling. Because at the time, I was not aware of the other form of discipline, because, you know, I grew up from the old school. You know, you got a spanking, and that was it. So you learned about other forms yes. of discipline? Yes, but at the time, I didn't know, but, you know, spanking, and... So did, after 2010, did you decide that you were going to use the other forms of discipline other than spanking? Yes. And do you know whether or not Tiffany did that too? Yes, best of my knowledge, I think she did. All right. While, and so you moved in in the sun, in, did you say in September of 2013? Yeah. To the apartment? Yes, sir. Um, where did you live? Did you ever live with your mother? Um, yes, that was, um, you talking about me and Tiffany or this? You and Tiffany and the no, children? No, sir. No, the three of you didn't live there? No. Did Amani ever live with your mother? Yes, during the uh, incident in 2010. 
And after that, was was Amani placed with your mother? No, sir. Well, how did she end up over there then? You said at my mom's house? Yeah, how did, how did I, I mean... Okay, how did you get in 2010, um, we had the spanking incident. Tiffany uh, spanked Amani. She had uh, whips and stuff all on her arm and back. They legs, a belt whip. Okay. But how did, uh, the question was, how did she... How did she end up staying at your mother's house after? Um, defects. We moved out, the, out of our home and put it with grandma. And how long did she live with grandma after the 2010 incident? I want to say about, I want to say six months. Did you or Tiffany ever try to, did you go to court to get her back or did you, or were you just allowed to by defects? No, I had to go, um, it was uh, required. For me to, you know, well, it was required for Tiffany to take any management and in home counseling. The other program was um, volunteer. I didn't have to do it, I just did it. The, the one that you yeah. talked about, yeah. dad's class, yeah. right? And so after you completed that, were you allowed to get Amani back? Yeah, after several supervised visits. Um, did you ever talk to your mom about Amani staying with her? Yeah, the have. And wh how did you feel about that? Um, I didn't really mind. Right. But, I, but I'm talking about after 2010, um, did your mom ever ask for Imani to come and live with her? Yes, yeah. And what did you say to that? Um, I, I, in my pride, I said I was trying to prove something to my mom that I can do it, and I said no. And so you got Amani back when? Um, I got it back in 2010. All right. And so did she move with you from Pearlie's house to the Veranda Chase apartment? Yes. At the apartment, did she have her own room? Yes, she did. Now, tell me about your work situation when you moved into the Veranda.